This is what I got when I ran my code. There are two things to notice in this plot. First, the amplitudes of the HY fields are huge. There's 10 to the fourth power here. Also, we see this checkerboard pattern. What does this mean? The yellows are positive numbers and the blues are negative numbers. So this means from one grid cell to the next, the HY fields are rapidly alternating between positive and negative numbers. So if I were to you know, plot the HYs along a straight line away from the source, I would see something like this. This is zero. And these are also very large, 10 to the fourth and minus 10 to the fourth values. Unfortunately, this is a clear indication that the code is unstable. Seeing both a checkerboard pattern and also super high amplitudes, which would probably continue to grow if we ran the code longer. When a code goes unstable, we should first check for errors and bugs in the code. If a code is still unstable after thoroughly checking for errors, it's common to try a smaller DT to see if that helps to solve the instability. Let's try that now. Let's try changing S from, I think it probably should be at 0.99 already. So let's see if we can change it to 0.5 to see if that helps. If it does, then we can investigate why lowering DT helped. If it doesn't help, we'll have to consider other possibilities for why the code is going unstable. So try running your code for the 10 time steps with S equal to 0.5.